Hey, what's happening gamers? I'm K-Wing and welcome to my review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the official movie game on Nintendo 3DS, developed by Magic Pockets and produced by Activision. Considering this is a licensed movie game, it's actually a decent single-player dungeon crawler, more or less. Players have the ability to switch between the green machine on the fly, just like in the classic NES game, though it works a bit better, and I like it. Each turtle has their own distinct ability and character classes. Raph borrows a page from the Hulk and smashes stuff. He acts as the tank for the group and has an insane amount of hit damage he can take, making him great for one-on-one -on -one fights and boss battles. Donnie is the healer of the group, kind of, and he's perfect for attacking multiple foes with his bow staff. Mikey is the smallest and fastest of the group, and later gets a repel ability to explore the dungeons a bit more. Leonardo ends the group as the best balanced turtle of them all, acting as both the fighter and spellcaster for the team. The heroes in the half shell can learn various skills as they level up too, and these new skills can be assigned to the X, A, and B button. Though keep in mind that these debuff moves do have a cooldown period so you can't use them excessively in combat. After completing a level, you're taken back to the Turtles Lair, which acts as the game's hub world, if you will. Here you can stock up on pizza, which is the only healing item in the game. I'm not kidding. You can also buy other items like hot chili peppers to increase attack powers, school books to boost experience points, and the Turtle Talismans, which act as a shield, and you'll need to learn to use these to fight Slash. I really, really hate that boss. Challenges act as the game's achievement system, kind of. Upon completing a challenge, you earn rewards like money, pizza, and other items. The mission board tells the game's plot, if you can call it a plot, and the crafting area, which is the coolest part about the game, lets the turtles equip brand new weapons, break them apart for materials needed to forge even more powerful weapons. This is actually my favorite part about this TMNT game, and I like that the elemental traits can be attached to the turtle's weapons for electrifying results. The side missions actually continue the story from the movie and have major plot spoilers about Karai and her father. Other than that though, don't play it, it's just a waste of time. As for things I really didn't like about this game, well, the gameplay gets very repetitive and most of the game takes place in the sewers. I'm serious, what's up with that? This game should have been called Back to the Sewers. Graphics are alright, I suppose, except it looks like a really cheap Boulder's Gate game like that didn't process well from the GameCube to the 3DS. The characters look all like blotchy and glitchy, but the backgrounds look nice, so there's that. However, I did run into a game-breaking glitch while playing this game during the Rat Invasion mission, and for some reason the door wouldn't open even after I threw the switch. Resetting the game didn't work, going back to the checkpoints, even restarting the game didn't work. I had to use a whole new save file, which took me forever to get back to where I was. I still have no idea how this glitch even happened. With all the additional modes, you're looking at maybe 8 hours to finish the game 100%. Uh, the survival mode is pretty cool, but I didn't really mess around with it that much. As for the difficulty, it really isn't challenging enough to merit replaying the game either. TMNT had some rough spots early in the game, but after grinding for just 40 minutes, I equipped the turtles with better weapons to transform them into super turtles. Like that one anime from Japan where they were cool looking. So in closing, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, based after the film produced by Michael Bay, gets a 6 out of 10. Which kind of mirrors the same score that the movie's been getting, so uh, there you go. Had the game a little bit more turtle wax, it probably would have been better polished. But as it stands, this TMNT game is average at best. Well anyway, thanks so much for watching another one of my videos. If you want to see more gameplay of this game, head to my Let's Play channel as we're playing that game right now. Well, maybe not right now, but you know, you know what I mean. If this review was helpful or you were entertained, ninja smash the like button or I'll find you. I have some other vids if you want to watch, or not, your call, I'd watch them though. Well, until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. I'll be seeing ya!